Hello, we're back again for the third um, deck that we're going to review today. It's called the Bad Bitches Tarot. Oh no, what did I get there? Got a snack here. I call it on the snack, a little message from the owner. I hope you love your deck. As an indie deck creator, I personally put a lot of love, magic, and late nights into it. If something isn't perfect, let me know and I'll make it right. This is Ethany. I really appreciate your review on Amazon. Got you, Ethany. So this is a beautiful box. One, because I'm absolutely in love with purple. Y'all, you, you can't pop it, okay? Color royalty, helps me with my insomnia. Let's get on with it now. Now, this is an awesome, I love, I love, 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 love the packaging. Okay, and it's got a really, not a smooth, but it's got a textured feel to it. Almost like a suede, but a, in plastic form. Does that make sense? I like it. I like the way this deck feels. Like, I really like the way this box feels. I just want to hold it for a minute. 78 card deck, um, and Ethne, in the parenthesis, is the contributor. Now this deck, look at that book. Yo, look at that book. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Oh, I like it a lot. I already like it. I already like it. I just like the way it feels. I like this deck. It, it really opens up to me. Okay, seven of wands, bare meaning. You have your feet well planted on the ground, and you can see what is coming from a mile off. You believe in what you are doing and what you are willing to defend in your life. You have the high ground and everything you need to succeed. Just believe in yourself and be steadfast. This is the Bad Bitches Tarot card deck. Okay, and this is the deck guidebook. Okay, it's a little dusty, but that's okay. Um, as you can see, it's a little like someone literally cut out the binding, or maybe they just punched out the whole book or something. I don't know. Um, yeah probably have to take a little bit off of that it's just not a very good look but other than that this was made this year 2021 okay so it's a brand new deck once more we've got one of these uh pull tabs to pull out our deck and this is nice I like that I like the way that oh I like the way that's packaged it comes together they're not falling out one by one and that's a good job Ebony Good job. And that's Ethany. E T H O N Y. Okay, now it's a little hard to get off, but that's okay. Now this is the cool part. Look at that. I got rose gold on my cards. Okay, and this is the back of the card. Alright. Okay. Yep. It's got a little holographic sheen to it. However, this very first card, Learn How to Read Tarot Like a Bad Bitch, is not necessarily part of the card deck, okay, but it is bent. Okay, came with the deck. It's a little bent. Don't like that so much. But it's not part of my deck, so no worries. We're gonna go ahead and shuffle it. I did not like that shovel. Let's try it again. They're very slippery. Okay, let's just talk about the card real quick because they're not shuffling for me. Um, it's very slippery. Both sides. We got a very smooth card. You know, it's it's a pretty thin. Uh, probably the thinnest one we've looked at today. Um, and then we've got the Fool, of course, the very first one. Okay, that's the Bad Bitches Fool. Alright. Um, like I said, the, the card themselves are not that thick. Um, but they should work pretty well for readings. Um, let's try to shuffle this deck again. Maybe it's just the way I cut it. Yeah, so let me try it one more time. Okay, so they bend pretty well. The problem with bending, however, is you don't want your deck from the second time that you shovel to have all of these. You see that? Now, I just shovel a regular bridge shovel, okay? Like, there's nothing special about what I shovel. Let me just show you how I shovel. And uh, I just don't like that they bend one way or another because basically that means you have to shovel them and then shovel them backwards so that you can keep their shape. See, so, yeah, they don't shovel quite so well. See, I mean, they really go together very well. See, they just, just they're quite slippery, okay? Yeah, quite slippery. Okay, but like I said, it's a very pretty deck, and we're gonna see what it does. When we actually do a reading with this deck, we'll update this review. But like I said, I'm already bent a little bit, okay, and that's not good. Don't like that too much. Now, um, I don't know about you, but I like to keep my things as pristine condition as possible for as long as possible. So I'm going to keep all of the packaging. I'm going to keep all of it so that I know 
that everything is there just as it came to me. You know what I mean? Everything is there. Of course, this is going to make me a liar and say I can't do it. So we're going to go ahead and just put this deck back in the, the, the box. Um, like again, with this, it's got a very firm uh, foam liner. Okay, it comes out. Completely comes out. Okay, here again, out of the box. And so you can put that back in there like that. put this box, this deck back in the box, okay. And I want to put it with the deck up, just so you guys can see that one last time. That's what we're looking at here, okay. That is the Bad Bitches Tarot deck. Okay, and then you put it on top of the string, so that the string can help us pop it right back out when it comes to using it. Okay, and then we've got this deck guidebook. Like I said, other than the cover being a little... Uh, you could definitely tell it came from a printing press, and the printing press wasn't quite as sharp as it should have been. Um, but the, the deck is not, the font is not very hard to read, as you can see. It's a pretty good size font. Okay. 